All right, uh, we had a citizen to come in and try to purchase five dollars worth of gas with his debit card. But he told him he could not use it and had to uh, leave out of his store. Well, he said he had to use ten dollars at least, and the citizen said he didn't want to buy ten dollars worth of gas because his gas is too high. Now, once he began to uh, talk to the man, the man cursed him, told him he needed to go back to Africa. He was a broke man. And uh, he just, uh, it, it, it was just terrible what happened with this situation. But when we began to uh, realize that this man has price gouged for years, he's uh, uh, overcharged on all, everything that's in his store, then someone that worked him out of his store ran a black man down two blocks and killed him over, he says, stealing out of his store. If he shot him from behind, the man was fleeing and posed no threat to him. So we have a problem with this man uh, in our community, and we want him out. Price gouging is immoral. And you cannot come to a community and treat people in a disrespectful way and take their money and call them names and spit on their women and throw coffee on their women and line their children outside like cattle and then say it's reverse racism when people who practice their constitutional right of protesting do so. And all communities need to stand up whenever anyone comes in and disrespects their community, their people. Uh, price gouging again, expired food, all these things because you don't value the community but you come in and you rape the community basically and that's what's happening. And many people don't understand why we are here. Oh, they will say, oh, y'all still out there? This is not for our health. Someone asked, y'all getting paid? No, we're not getting paid. We have jobs, we have families, but we want to make sure that people, particularly in this area, are not pumped, basically. You know, feeling powerless because the things that happen here happens to a lot of people, but people are too afraid to say anything. They feel powerless. They feel, well, nobody's gonna listen to me. You know, but you have people who distort things that happen, you know. Um, and it is my constitutional right to stand here and to protest within the, within the legal boundaries of the law to push for an economic boycott. Because you cannot come into anybody's community, I don't care where it is, and disrupt things and treat people like they are nothing. And particularly in the community where there may be some who already feel they're nothing and feel well, this is my only choice. No, it's not. We have choices. People died and fought for those choices. And so I'm standing here for those who might be too afraid to stand here with my sign that now he's economic boycott. I've been cursed at this man here, has cursed at me and called me names, but he's a victim too. He's been fed by many people who are out here protesting on a regular basis, but he gets a sandwich here to stand out here and curse us out and disrespect the women. And it's sad because his mind is so gone, he doesn't even understand what he's doing. So I think people have a right to protest, and my slogan is power to all the people. Because if we don't stand up, We'll get ran over, kicked on, stepped on, crossed on, and we will not know what happens. So I'm standing here because I have the right to. I was just trying to say, if you if you listen to this gentleman, would you please move away? Hey, this story is gonna fall. Please move away. Please. Pump the gas for people and they give them a little money. It's not paid. It's not on payroll. They send them out here to antagonize us, which is just wrong. That's exploitation. Uh, along with, um, he has been called me the B word himself. So that's, that's disrespecting women. I cannot stand that. Sure. But for anybody to call me that makes me very angry. But my issue is bigger than this. I grew up in this neighborhood. I don't live over here now. But to see what's happening in the neighborhood. And I want, if you're going to be in the neighborhood, to respect the neighborhood.